Hi guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at the scene designer, specifically this, the scene design objects and how we can animate these and combine them together inside our scene. So let's book, pick an object that we like. So let's go to let's go to lounge area. Let's go to chair sofa and let's simply import this inside this scene. Make this fit up to 100% and what I'm going to do, I'm going to position it right over here and maybe scale it a little bit down so that I can place characters on it at a later stage. And let's make it 75% maybe. With this in here, we can start adding animations on it. Now I'm going to add a background before I start in here. So let's right click and new and solid. And we can make a new background, give it a name in here and click OK. And bring it to the bottom in here. So now we have this object and to give it the animations, it's very simple. You can simply click on it, go to effects and presets from here and from animation presets, go to animation presets and object animations in here and simply pick one of these that you like. Now, I think to say about these is that if you'd like to see what these do before you import them, you can go to your project folder go to animation presets inside gif animations you can find object animations and you can find the preview of all of these in here so as you can see we have the preview right over here so let's use this drop and bounce close click on the chair sofa and simply double click on drop and bounce now as you can see in here it is animated automatically for us no problem with which happened in here is that when we imported our animation this animation immediately replaced the original values of the of the object so basically this scale got tweaked in the position as well what i suggest is that you use null objects instead of pasting them directly on these so let's show you how to, you do this let's undo now what we're going to do is we're going to go to layer new and null object so this is null object we can give it the name of the animation that we're going to import so drop and bounce so first we're going to give the animation to this drop and bounce so we can simply double click on the animation to add it to the drop and bounce or else we can also if you haven't installed these presets you can go to animation and apply animation preset find the animation presets that you that you have so i'm going to go to my animation presets and find drop and bounce from here from my Windows Explorer in here and click on open. Now, as you can see, the, the chair is not animated. To animate this, we simply need to parent it to the null object. So since this is a start animation, I'm going to go further back in here with the time scrubber and pick the chair sofa. So this is the end position. We're simply going to parent it to the null object, to the drop and bounce null object. And now we can see how this works. So this follows the, the null in there. So, and if now we can see that it retains its properties and this way we can even move the chair wherever we, we would like and it would keep, keep the animation in there. As you can see. So let's undo and keep it in the middle as it was in there. But this is basically how you would add different animations. If you would like to add additional animations, what you would do, for instance, if you would like to add a movement animation to this, you can simply create another null, new null object. And let's create a movement animation. So let's make this chair jump, for instance. And so I'm going to give this a name, name it jump, and give this the jump animation so double click on this and you can immediately see the null jumping in here and then you're always going to let's click you to show the keyframes make sure that the if we enter in here let's zoom up and if we go in here let's press you as well we can position this where we want it to be so for instance we want to bounce at one second and simply parent this null to the jump and now since the 
chair is parented to this, and this is parented to this, the chair would follow the drop and bounce, then the, the chair would also follow the jump. So if we play this, it will first drop and then it will jump. So this is how we would add different animations. Now let's add one final animation, which is the end. Let's add another null. And let's, since we've been using jump, let's use jump and pop out now. So name it jump and simply give it that animation from here. We're going to show the keyframes by pressing U. Place it where we want it to be. Let's show the keyframes of this. I want it to go out at three seconds. So simply parent this to this. Press U to close the keyframes and as you can see now, it jumps in, jumps and then jumps out. So that's very nice. And like this, you can animate all the objects that you have.